What is up you guys, welcome back to Ableton from scratch. My name is Armand, Toronto based DJ and producer. And this online course is a free series aimed at people who have never used Ableton before and who've got no prior experience with music production at all. Now today's lesson is episode number six and we've already made very good progress up until now. We've pretty much written in half of a song, including the beats, the bass and the lead and supporting synth melodies. So in today's session, it's time to learn how to write in a bridge or otherwise known as a breakdown. This is the part of the song where perhaps the loud kick bass drops away for a little while, uh, the melody you know meanders down a different path and eventually steers back towards the main groove of the song and then the beats come back in otherwise known as the drop all right guys so let's dive into ableton and learn how to write a bridge all right guys so here is the song we've been working on and here's what we've got so far we've got our intro a first breakdown where we start to introduce the bass this drop the uh, second pad comes in this pink one here our lead melody enters here we have a first breakdown where the full melody unfolds full percussion at the drop and then we've got our uh, first variation here to keep things kind of interesting and change it up a bit So right about over here is where it's going to be appropriate to start writing in a bridge or breakdown. And that's where we're going to take the song in a little bit of a different direction momentarily, kind of let the song wander down a slightly melodic path, and then we're going to, you know, resolve it back. Once we bring the beat back in, we're going to resolve it back to this main melody over here. So how do we go about starting to write a bridge that's going to sound good? Well, in this case, I think I kind of have two options between going with this synth melody or this synth sound rather, and this one over here. And my thinking is because I've already used the sort of lead melody, the perp being the purple one, over here quite a bit to build it up, and it's the main groove of the song. And this uh, yellow synth here, the supporting synth melody, it has not been used quite as much. I'm thinking it'll probably be best to use that as the centerpiece of the breakdown. So what I did off screen was I took a stab at writing a different melody for this instrument and that looks like and sounds like this. Okay, and you'll notice that the notes that I've used are many of the same notes from this earlier part of the melody. So often what you want to do is use at least some of the same notes as in a prior melody to kind of tie the bridge back in to uh, the other part of the song so it doesn't sound completely inconsistent. So now with this melody written in, we have to kind of think about how to arrange the rest of this breakdown or bridge and how do we approach this melody because it's probably not going to sound good if we just, let me just duplicate some of this stuff by handing, hitting command D, the bass, the drums, I'll leave the kick out. Uh, and the pads, you know, if we just jump straight into that melody right away like this, it's probably not going to sound great. Let's, let's just test that out though. Okay, not terrible, but not great either. I think we can do better than that. I want to maybe move that to start playing after a four bar uh, pause, maybe even an eight bar. Let's start with that. Um, let's see what happens if we take the bass away. I think I'd like to simplify the drums at this part of the breakdown as well. So I'll probably take away some of that extra percussion, leaving mostly just the hi-hats. I'm going to take these guys away. Remember, you can just easily select all of those by clicking over here on the piano key and then hitting delete, and they all go away. That's better for a breakdown, I think. We don't need the drums to be too heavy at this part. And 
Now, you'll notice over here it's starting to sound a little empty because we don't have the bass. So I'm thinking I do want to have some bass playing during the breakdown, but maybe I want to change it up a little from this kind of more uh, rhythmic type of bass that we had going. So let's give ourselves some new area to work with here with the bass, highlighting these four measures and hitting Command Shift M to write in a new uh, sequencer block. We'll probably take that same E note to start with. There we go. Maybe we can do something a little bit more simple with this bass like this. Have that one longer. Longer still. Maybe we'll let the bass climb up a little bit. Resolve it back to E with these two notes down here. Those should be over here. And that note should be a bit longer. Okay, that's sounding all right. Let's try duplicating that. Okay, and if you want to join these clips into one so we can just easily duplicate that section of bass for the entirety of our bridge, you would just uh, click on one, hold shift, highlight them both, and then hit command J. You're going to see that join into one clip. Now when I highlight that and hit Command-D, I can easily duplicate the whole thing. So, starting off from with our beat and diving into the breakdown, let's see how it sounds now. We forgot to co copy the drums over and the pads. Copy some more drums over. I think we might even want to take away the clap on these drums, to be honest. So let's just delete those sections, come work in on this one, highlight all the claps and delete them. I'll duplicate this back, Command D. All right, let's hear how that's going to sound now when the new melody dives in. Maybe for the end of this breakdown, what we can do is get rid of the hi-hats and the drums completely and have a little bit of nice blank space before the song kind of picks back up again. And 
And then to lead us back in, maybe what we can do is, whoops, looks like a little bit of a spacing problem over here with this pad. Let's fix that up. Remember to always drag your sequencer blocks right to the proper marker for the bar, which I was not doing, as you can see. So getting back to my idea, uh, let's try to take some of this melody, copy that, Command C, Command V, and let's keep the pads. Let's see how that's going to sound. Let's take the other part of that melody, the part that resolves to the higher notes. And now what we might try doing is having our main drop here. This isn't going to be too crazy of a build because this song is kind of chill. I don't think we need to go crazy with a big drum roll or anything. Uh, but we, we will look at some techniques in upcoming lessons on how to get more kind of tension and suspense out of our breakdown. So we're going to take the full drum groove with all the percussion back, put that over here, uh, take our standard bass line from before, put that in over here. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and join these two clips over here. Again, Command J after you've highlighted them both. So I can easily duplicate that as one section of melody now. Um, put the pads back, continue those for a while. And now I think it's time to try and see if the two melodies that we've written, the two lead synth melodies, are compatible at the same time. So when the drop comes, we're going to have a bit more of a full sound because we're going to have all of our melodies going at once. So let's see how that's going to, going to sound for us. Okay, not bad. I think they work together. Let's just solo those two channels together and that you can do by clicking on this um, little S over here for the lead synth. And if you want to have a second channel play at the same time with nothing else, hold down the shift key and, whoops, sorry, the command key and press on both of them and you have two tracks soloed that way. Let's uh, hear how that sounds. Okay, I'm glad those are working uh, melodically together. Getting some nice harmony there. So let's hear the entire breakdown from about here with some drums before it dives into the breakdown. Okay, so there's a little bit more we're going to do to dress this breakdown up a little bit more. 
uh, other certain techniques that we're going to learn in future sessions. But there are the basics, at least in terms of kind of the composition element, in terms of writing a breakdown, having a melody that strays from the main lead melody to kind of take you on a little bit of a journey during the breakdown and keep the song, you know, diverse enough that it doesn't sound too repetitive when you listen to it start to finish. So I hope that that's been helpful for you guys in terms of how to write the bridge from a composition perspective and stay tuned for the uh, next session where we're going to learn how to start dressing this up, adding perhaps some effects and some other sounds, kind of accent sounds into the song to make it sound more interesting and more polished. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. See you back here next lesson.